Welcome to Deceptive Perception 2, Phantasmagoria, Yandros's and William the Taffer's 2008 Thief 2 FM Horror FM. It was started by William the Taffer as his sequel to The Excellent Deceptive Perception, but then finished by Yandros. I've played it before a few times, but here in Halloween 2018 I'll be recording it for a Let's Play. I'm Trevor Whalen, by the way. At Benny the Guard on Twitter, that's all lowercase with underscores between the words. And I'm into Thief pretty, pretty hugely, so let's begin the tale. Petrify me. Yes, I want to be petrified. Willock. I love that name. You've met your old friend Willock at the rotting carcass. That's great, too. For a pint and some light discussion. When talk turns to your recent adventure trying to recover an artifact from the upper floor of an abandoned mechanist warehouse that's supposedly haunted. As you begin the tale, prepare yourself to live through it. Right, Garrett. Tell me about this grand adventure you had the other night. Right. Well, you know my pal Barney, who works a night shift over at the Lions Building underneath the abandoned mechanist warehouse? Well, he'd been telling me for years that the old warehouse floors are haunted. Haunted? An old guard's tale, my friend. It isn't true, is it? Be patient. I'll get to that. Wait a minute. This Barney fellow is a guard. So how come he's an old pal of a master thief? Well, let's just say he used to be one of us before he was reformed by the Bluecoats. <laughs> yeah, they caught him enough times he gave up the lifestyle. He became a reputable type, taking jobs doing private security and whatnot. Okay, okay. He's a reformed thief. So tell me, why would you want to go into an old, haunted warehouse? Well, Cuddy told me a rumor he'd heard about there being some kind of valuable artifact being stored on the top floor of the place when it was shut down. Now, normally I don't pay attention to unsubstantiated rumors. I didn't have anything better to do that night, and I figured it would just be a quick in-and-out job since there are skylights on the top floor, right? Displace a rope arrow, shimmy down, rummage through the yep. crates, find the thing, yep. get out. Five That's minutes how it time. starts. <laughs> I'm guessing Always proven episode, wrong. Or he wouldn't be boring me to tears. Yeah, yeah. Well, a bit uncharacteristically, I went in a bit underprepared. Uh, I, I, I did it on a lark. I was in the neighborhood. And I figured I, all I needed was a rope arrow. I didn't have a sword, yeah. picks. Nothing. Well, it turns out the rope broke and I slid down, fell on my ass. And then I discover there's no artifact. So not only <laughs> was the rumor false, here I am stuck in a reportedly haunted building looking for some way out. All right. How does he now get I'm himself in that mess? Was it really haunted? Hang on, hang on. Let me tell the whole story. Here we go. Never mind finding the artifact, now it's just a matter of survival. Find a way back to the streets. You know, one way to spruce up a warehouse level in a game, make it haunted. Really, you could spruce up just about anything by doing such. I mean, even compound, you could spruce up haunted compound. Great, so now whatever's in this place knows I'm here. The false security offered by turning on the power. As noted in a certain article on the cradle level.
likely would have closed on its own, but... Haunted status confirmed. Haunted status really confirmed. some loot. Or what's back here? Uh, that's not... Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's... That's not what I was looking for. <laughs> Guess I'll just peek back out around here and... I face your fear when you could just climb past it. I'd rather not, thank you very much. How much does it cost to join you? Oh, come on, door open. Or do you have to face your fear? I'll face it. And, well, there we go. I took the advice of the blood riding on the wall and everything worked out. I'll keep that in mind. Seest thou my children, the children of Charis? Why save these things when all else is gone? Who is Karis, the man of destruction, not construction? You know, a live fuse and a dead mechanism, you know, it suddenly goes off. It can happen. Yeah, live, sudden, dormant electrical current going off, you know? It, reasonable explanation. Oh, look at that nice painting of a woman in a white dress. How lovely. Uh, I, I can't move. Whoa. That painting so lifelike. I'll I'll hit myself later for that one. Trust me. I can help. Huh? 
a they way out? Here. Quickly. Follow me. They? They who? They your mom. Ha, huh. okay. I'll hit myself later for that one too, trust me. Dun, dun, dun. New objective. This lady in white seems to want to help. Follow her, but be careful. You sense that nothing is as it seems around here. Oh, really? You know what? Ah, uh, ha, ha. That, it's it's because she left the painting and uh, she's not there anymore. Just because she walked out of it. Oh, look, here's the key. And, and here's the end of part one of Trevor playing Deceptive Perception 2. I'll continue following the lady in Y in part two of Trevor playing Deceptive Perception 2. Thank you for watching. Um, I guess like, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Twitter, at Benny the Guard, you know the drill. Thank you.